Hey YouTube. Now we are over here on the shop side and I am curious to see if the shifting fork that is inside the exploded transmission on the Murray Gator will fit inside that 820 on kudzu. So we're going to pull out the transmission real quick something we need to do anyway uh, I figure we can do two things at once we're going to pull the transmission the first drive transmission out of kudzu anyway because it's all going to get reformatted and uh, refabbed and then we're going to go back over to the house side and we're going to dig into it and look and see what's going on what happened first of all with this transaxle and can we use that shifting part? I mean, all the gears and everything, I can put it all back together in another case. I've got other cases, and we'll be good to go. So no no biggie here, but I want to make sure we don't have any more problems with this uh, uh, transaxle. So, okay, guys, we have it out. And it didn't take long. It took about 20, 30 minutes to take everything out. And I saw some stuff. I'm not really going to go into it. Boy, that thing looks funny with only one. Looks like a stretched limo lawnmower. Huh. Um, but I saw some stuff, and we're going to tear it down real quick and take a look at it and uh, see what we can find. More to come. Okay, guys, now we are back. Got the uh, transaxle out of the Murray Gator. And I'm just going to uh, slide this camcorder over. And I've got it on the tripod, but just on a on a monopod actually, just so you can see what all happened. There's a big crack there, and there. Let me help you with that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And there's that. And then you can uh, get an idea. Of what all happened um, I do know the welds were broken uh, where I had locked it I don't know if that came before or uh, during the break if that caused it or if that was a result of it so I'm really not sure but what we're gonna do kind of tear it apart and take a look at it uh, this is a six-speed I believe and the chunk and everything else is good. I'm going to put this back in another one and uh, save it and get it ready. This is what I need to go on my 820. Need something this tall. So we're going to take this and see if it will either fit as it sets. We're going to cut this guy off and then we're going to weld it and then sleeve it and then weld it again to uh, make what I want. Hmm, sounds like some bad shit happened in there. Okay, Alright guys, um, more to come. Getting ready to start taking some bolts out. Um, it's going to be a 3 8. You want some chicken leg? Or is it a turkey leg? Man, I don't know. I did have plenty of grease. This was one that I had filled back up with a grease mixture. So, we will see and uh, we'll take a look. I see a little bit of scarring on this side. So, hmm, that makes me think something. We're going to pop it and take a look at it. Oh, God, I got grease all over me. Um, we are back. I've been digging around in here and looking and checking. First of all, I thought perhaps we might have gotten some water inside uh, the case and it had frozen because it was on that really really cold day and that is not the case there is no water in here so the good thing is the silicone did hold and everything was nice and tight but what happened okay this is what I had welded um, I think I used to, yeah, this was when I had a, only had a wire welder, a uh, flux wire. And my thought is that this had broken loose and gotten into the gears 
and gap between the gears in the case and you know when you go between hardened steel and 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 a aluminum case the aluminum case always loses so I'm going to say that what killed this guy is pieces of weld that had broken loose and uh, to support my thought you can see scratches and scrape marks on the side this is probably the last injustice that this guy had pushed on this side and blew it out and I'm gonna say it is this trying to compare it it's about it's a piece of metal that is rounded about as big as an acorn so that's good to know it was a uh, a problem with the weld so pretty much my fault that's just the way it is sometimes I hate I killed it uh, but the good news is every one of these gears uh, the bushings with the gears and uh, the axles are good I have another tray a pan so I can put them all with it and it gives me an excuse to look at this guy right here so what I'm going to do now I'm going to clean this guy up separate everything put it in a cardboard box or something like that because I got a lot of other stuff to do real quick before we lose daylight and I'm going to pull the 820 out we're going to set it up here I'm curious to see how it how it's doing what kind of water we have in it because I went deep 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 a few times and we're going to see if this piece will solve my problem and I'll show you uh, what I'm concerned about more to come guys